Hello, welcome to Romero Threads on YouTube where it's all about embroidery. In today's video, I'm going to show you an overview how I go about creating a full neck curve text embroidery. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure I create a very straight line down the center of my sweater. Then I'm going to cut a cutaway to perfectly match my hoop. So here I'm using the eight by 13 Mighty Hoop. This is definitely my go-to hoop when creating this project. Now I'm ready to hoop my sweater. So I'm going to use the Mighty Hoop station with the adjustable brackets. I wanna have the hoop as high to the neck collar as possible. Here I'm going to tape my cutaway to the hoop just to secure it. So when I'm hooping my sweater, the cutaway doesn't move. So here I have the hoop as high as possible and I wanna verify that my sweater is 100% straight before attaching the Mighty Hoop. All right, and then I wanna verify. Okay, so as you can see here, it's nice and flat. We don't have any obstructions. And here I'm double checking, making sure everything is straight, good to go. And once I confirm that my hoop is straight, now I wanna take a picture of my hoop. So when I take a picture, I also include a tape measurement just so I can get an accurate reference when I'm digitizing my neck collar. So I wanna be as straight as possible. And as you can see here, okay, I got a very, very accurate picture with the exact measurements of my sweater. Now I take my picture into Illustrator. I use Illustrator to use all my reference lines. I like setting up all my vectors on Illustrator. That way when I take it to the digitizing software, everything is already good to go. I like using uh, hot pink, okay, as a reference line. And this is going to give me an accurate line of my collar. And I'm going to do an offset, a one inch offset. And I'm gonna use this one inch offset as my base for my text. And once I got that good to go, I send it over to the digitizing software. So this is where I'm going to add my text, select my font, and this is where I wanna take my time and space my text evenly. So here, what I'm looking out for I'm making sure that uh, my text isn't too close to each other and not too far from each other. So everything is well spaced out. And I also want to make sure that my underlay, I keep it as minimum as possible. So I'm only using a center run as an underlay. All right. So you just want to take your time, make sure you're evenly spaced out and everything looks good to go. And here, one of the most important part that I like to do, I like to uh, digitize from center out. So as you can see here, we're kind of starting from the center and we work our way to the sides. That just minimizes puckering or loss of registration. And once I confirm my design's good to go, okay, now it's time to put it on the machine. You wanna carefully put it onto the machine. Okay, and of course, we want to trace, 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 trace your artwork. And I use the contour trace to make sure that my actual design follows the path that I set up. So really, all the heavy lifting was done during the initial portions. We accurately measured everything. We, we digitized everything according to specs. Okay, as long as all our measurement is good to go, once we push start, everything should just stitch out as planned. So we're gonna stitch our text from center out. So what I wanna verify here is that all of our text is consistent. Okay, so once we do that first side, now we're gonna start from the middle and work our way back up.
So from this view, our design looks picture perfect. Okay, I think we're good to go to take it off the machine. All right, so here, let's take a uh, closer look. Let's see our stitching. So we wanna verify that our text is nice and sharp. Okay, so everything looks nice and clean. Everything looks consistent, spacing looks consistent. All right, so our text, nice and sharp, nice and clean. All right, so let's take it off the hoop. Take your time when you're doing your cutaway. I'm definitely gonna make a part two, which will probably end up being like a one hour video. Okay, but if there are specific steps that you want me to go through, all right, make sure you leave it down below. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, peace out.